In this video lesson, let us understand regarding the concepts of haloalkanes and haloarenes. The name itself is indicating haloalkanes. This name is indicating they are the alkanes which contain halogen atoms in them. What are halogens? Halogens are the group 17 members of the periodic table. These members are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. But for all practical purposes when we call halogens, we always refer only fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine we do not consider because astatine is radioactive in nature. Its property differs. Alloalkanes means they are the alkanes which contain halogens in them. That means alkyl derivatives of halogens we call it by the name as haloalkanes. Similarly haloarenes means they are the aromatic hydrocarbons which contain halogens in them. So therefore they are the monohalogen derivatives of the aromatic compounds namely derivatives of benzene. Let us see some examples for this. Here I have a compound whose formula goes like this CH3, CH2, Cl. CH3, CH2 is ethyl group to which Cl is attached. So therefore the IUP, the trivial nomenclature of this is ethyl chloride whereas its IUPAC nomenclature will be chloroethane. Why are we calling this as chloroethane? Because this ethyl group was earlier ethane C2H6 molecular formula of ethane. This ethane lost an hydrogen atom that means it was substituted by the halogen namely chlorine. Therefore C2H5 because one hydrogen atom has been lost and in that place one member of the halogen namely chlorine is attached. Therefore this compound gets the name as chloroethane like haloalkane halo chloro alkane ethane therefore this is an example of haloalkane so what can we say about this we find the presence of single halogen mono halogen derivative of alkanes can also be called by the name as haloalkanes now look at the trivial nomenclature name of the same compound, ethyl chloride. It contains two parts in it, ethyl one part, chloride one part. So ethyl is a member of alkyl group and chloride is the member of halogen which we call it as halide. So therefore monohalogen derivatives of alkanes can also be called by the name as alkyl halides. General name alkyl halides where the alkyl group can be methyl, ethyl, propyl so on. Halide can be fluoride, bromide, chloride, iodide so on. So therefore this alkyl halide or the haloalkanes we are talking with respect to the same type of compounds. Now let us look at another example. CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl. Now what is the name of this compound? This group is propyl group and then Cl being attached. Therefore it is propyl chloride. If we write it as propyl chloride, it is trivial nomenclature. 
and its IUPAC name would be chloropropane. Chloropropane. Like this, we can go on with many examples. Care should be taken to see to it that we are taking the derivative of alkane which is containing a halogen in it. Now let us look at few cases of phalloarene. As the name itself is indicating, they are all aromatic hydrocarbons which are containing halogens in them. All aromatic hydrocarbons contain definitely one benzene ring in their molecule which is why they are referred by the name as aromatic hydrocarbons. Now look at this example. This is the benzene ring. To the benzene ring directly if a halogen is attached then they are called by the name as haloarene. Haloarene is IUPAC nomenclature general name. Similarly, in trivial nomenclature we call them as aryl halides. Like how we have halkyl halides for haloalkates. In a similar way, we have the general name here as aryl halides for haloarenes where wherein one halogen atom is present in the place of hydrogen by undergoing the process of substitution. The name of this compound chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene. This is the IUPAC nomenclature of this compound. Similarly, let us look at another example. This is bromobenzene. Bromobenzene. So, what are haloarenes or aryl halides? They are monohalogen derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons. So, now we have understood the introduction of the terms haloalkanes and haloarenes. In my next video lesson, I will be dealing with the classification of the haloalkanes in detail. Please watch for better understanding.